Mr. Chairman, looking back to the past year, the international anti-apartheid year, we see some advance in our two-pronged offensive against racism in Southern Africa. In this regard, we congratulate the new Iranian government on its bold and just decision to stop the sale of oil to Pretoria. We also appreciate the measures taken by certain countries, especially Sweden, to disengage themselves from further collaboration with South Africa. Moreover, despite all frantic, frantic attempts at consolidating the system of apartheid, the Pretoria regime has found no solid base and no long-lasting foundation for its abhorrent and repugnant system. The philosophy of racial inequality under the transparent guise of separate development has found no fertile ground in South Africa. The question is not whether, but when, the oppressed masses of South Africa would rise up to annihilate the inhuman system of apartheid. Mr. Chairman, the United Nations Council for Namibia was established by the United Nations in 1967 in order to administer the territory of Namibia until independence. The South African regime, in its colonialist and racist defiance against the well-considered decisions of the United Nations, has refused to withdraw its illegal administration from the territory and has extended to Namibia its despicable policies and practices of apartheid. The Namibian people, as a result of the illegal occupation and oppressive policies of the racist Pretoria regime, and its impl implacable hostility against their legitimate aspirations to achieve self-determination, freedom, and national independence in a united Namibia, had no choice but to initiate a struggle for national liberation under the leadership of the Southwest Africa People's Organization, in short, SWAPO.